Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this Let's Play of Horizon Forbidden West. Last episode, we made our way at last to, what's it called again, Legacy's Landfall, and spoke with the people in charge, one of whom is named CEO, as in CEO. Very interesting. What I can understand is I believe they're from China. That seems the most likely location they're from. And I want to take a look around this place a bit. What do we got here? Ancestor Primer. To be a diviner is to be both deeply blessed and solemnly responsible. As scholars on the infinite wisdom of the ancestors, the commoners look to us for guidance. We must not forsake our duty to counsel them, however trivial their concerns and predicaments may seem to be. Let this primer serve as a touchstone whenever they are in need of inspiration. If one is beset by fatigue or hunger, tell them to look to the spark, Nikita Arand, the ancestor who gave rise to our great empire. Through her wisdom, we overcame stagnation to live in abundance. If one is beset by malady or hardship, tell them to look to the healer, Song Jiao, the ancestor who defied notions of illness and death. Through her wisdom, we strive to push past our physical restraints and live in vigor. If one is beset by anxiety or trepidation, tell them to look to the protector, Eric Visser, the ancestor who embodied strength in uncertain times. Through his wisdom, we dominated our enemies to build a better future. If one is beset by envy or bitterness, tell them to look to the patron, Peter Chivhumb, the ancestor who advocated for transcendence in humanity. Through his wisdom, we stifled dissension to form a society greater than the sum of its parts. If one is beset by apathy or hopelessness, tell them to look to the Renewer. Damn, I'd want to hear more. Okay, here's something I can loot. Okay, got one of those there. You, anything interesting? Utaru Gravesinger, Tanakh Dragoon. Nora Valiant, Osram Vanguard, Karja Trader. Nothing I need. I will sell these. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Got something back here. You are a cook. Not really the most important. Yeah, you've just got these things. Return when you're hungry. Okay. I really don't care about strike. It is not at all interesting to me. Over here we have... Ah, good. Stash. I want to take a look at these ships. They do seem... Okay, you're glitching, but they do seem... Oh, it's double ships! That's interesting. Okay, herbalist. Sure. I will wait to serve. But these ships are double ships. That would add a lot of balance. The pyramid to fight the Thunderjaw. Okay, pry open the cache. I'll take what's in here. Thunderbolt Shredder Gauntlet. Hold on, I got a Shredder Gauntlet out of that? Uh... Yeah, not gonna use it. And what are you? Casualty Ledger. Lost at C61. Accidents, 9. KIA, 41. 21 to Barbarians, 20 to Machines. 11 to Sickness and Malnutrition. 7 Executed. And an unknown number died four ways. 133 dead. This has been a very costly expedition. Damn. One wonders how many are left. Expedition Protocol. Soldiers of the expedition, an important reminder of rules and regulations that must be followed at all times. By now, it should be evident that hoarding provisions will be met with harsh measures. Furthermore, all foraged food must be brought before our survival experts for identification, categorization, and rationing. 
All relics found in or near the sunken city are to be brought b before Diviner Nirik, Diviner Alva, or myself immediately and without question or hesitation. Failure to do so will irrevocably lead to capital punishment for both the culprit and next of kin back home. And under no circumstances are you to approach a revered CO unless given a direct order to do so. Should this honor be bestowed upon you, improper conduct such as direct eye contact will be punished severely. For the Quen, for a future Overseer Bohai. All right, then. Well, that seems to be everything there. Let's move on and see what we can get out of the... And see if we can save them from the, uh... More difficult Thunderjaw. Still, I am very interested in the Quen, and already my mind is just coming up with all sorts of ideas of sending someone over to the base in order to act as a representative and to learn from what we have here. Sure, we may not have the same level, but there must be plenty that can be learned. Is that the pyramid they speak of? Could be. And of course, it's all going to happen at night. Yep, it's here. A barbarian! Run, stranger! The There's machine a killer will machine kill you. about! There you are. I guess we're doing this. There we go, Apex Thunderjaw. Damn it. Knock it off. There we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. I could actually use that weapon. Ow. That hurt, but... That all you got? Damn it! Damn it! Come on, I need that tail. Ow. Ow. Come on. Wait, this is the wrong weapon. No wonder. Damn it! There we go. 
gonna pick this up while I still can. No, oh, no, not good. I'm winded. I need to get my stamina back. Okay, I knocked something off. Almost. Got it. All right. And we even leveled up. Not too bad. Now is it? Okay. I'll be there in a minute. I'm just going to pick up what I can around here. I'll need these later for sure. Okay. We're good. This. And I think we're good. Okay. Now we can actually get in. Over you. That you. Machine. A word. Your CEO sent me. I need to speak to Alva. By all means, then. Thank Open you. Open the gates. Hello, Alva. Alva, I'm glad you're okay. Oh, you got rid of that machine. But what are you doing here? There's something inside Thebes that I need. I went to Landfall. I met your CEO. We came to an agreement, kind of. And you're going to help us get in? I guess so. The whole thing was a little tense. There was something off about that guy. And I don't understand what he wants from Thebes. I thought we found the data that your people needed back on the mainland. That data will take us years to sift through. The CEO wants faster results. Aloy, you have to be careful. He's... There they are. The legacy tells us that Elizabeth Sobek helped the ancestors cast aside all obstacles. And so it has been today. You have been true to your word. I'm pleased. Thebes awaits us below. Shall we? All right, then. Quite an excavation. Much of this was flooded. We had to pump a great deal of water out. All right, let's see what we find. Behold, the door to Thebes. A door like no other. Gene locked to Theodore Farrow. Well, you're right about that. It's designed to open for only one man. Ted Farrow. But the legacy tells us that he worked closely with Sobek. He trusted her. Surely she could open the door, and so surely can you. Not gonna happen. At least not from this side. You said she was a living ancestor with Sobek's eternal essence. Uh, if I may, Pharaoh, great as he was, did not build his palace alone. We know this from scraps of data we found, the ones that pointed to this location. And we found evidence of passages below. Maybe they were built to aid construction. Or for servants. We can't reach them. The way is flooded, and they're too far underwater, but... I yeah. I can reach them. There might be another way in down there. You see? With Sobek, there is always a way. Hmm. Then do what you must to get us inside.
Well, okay then. Find an entrance to Thebes, I shall. This water's warm. Seems like a hot spring. Well, let's see what we can find. Look at that thing. It's huge. It goes all the way down to the bottom. Oh boy. So, this is a underwater hot spring then. That's what's... it's a geothermal plant. That's what's taking control of this. There's a rupture up there. Maybe a way in. Well, this could be our way through. Let's see what we got. Yeah. This could get me inside. Alright. Let's see if this gets us in. I mean, of course it will. That's just how these games work, but still. We're fortunate there's so many breakages that let us get in. I think this is the way I need to go. Oh boy. Come on, come on. There you go. Made it in. This must be it. Okay. There's gotta be a way to stop that turbine around here somewhere. Aha. Okay, this will let us go through. Stop the turbine. Good. Okay, let's go in. Another turbine. It looks like we don't need to go that way. In fact... Okay, I'm inside, but how do I let the Quinn in? Okay, we've got a workout like room. exercise room? Interesting. Here I am again, hiding in the gym, writing to stay sane in this crazy place. I can't believe Grigori's dead. Our so-called spiritual leader was fine yesterday, and then suddenly passed away in his sleep. Huh. And no one will talk to me about it. They treat me like a child, whispering behind my back, as if I can't cope with death, even after the end of the world. So Ted had other people in here with him, including a teenage girl. Interesting. Could be a daughter or someone else. Let's see what we can find in here. Can open this door. Oop, oop, didn't mean to dodge. Okay, we've got bathrooms or showers and yeah, showers. No, these are bathrooms. Exercise room, showers. It's pretty big too. Hmm. There's nothing normal about a scientist, his daughter, a guru, and well, let's face it. A harem living through the end times in the trillionaire's underground survival bunker. But now that Kagori's gone, I'm worried things will get even weirder. He helped keep Ted stable huh. for a couple of years, sort of. Without him, who knows? And we don't even understand what happened to him. The girl's right. Nothing normal about Ted. So Ted made a bunker to try and survive the end of the world. That's the way out. There are more rooms over here. Grigori Fa Fasbach's journal. Did I tell Ted what he needed to hear, or only what he wanted to hear? Did I want to lead him to salvation, or was I simply seeking my own? 
I invited him to consider his being in a universe bereft of the trappings of techno-nihilism, but did he instead annihilate his own past along with the rest of the world? Oh god, what have I done? Oh dear. There's a bed that didn't survive. Completely ruined. What do we got in here? I know everyone's reeling after Grigori's uh, untimely demise. He was a deeply spiritual man who wasn't afraid to rip back the curtain and gaze where few men dare. I've asked Dr. Sumtau to, you know, check on what happened to him. I'm sure he had some kind of condition or something. The main point is that while we certainly miss him, we will go on. Everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, something tells me it didn't turn out that way. Most likely. Okay, this goes, crosses over with each other. Uh, let me just grab one of these for the sake of grabbing it. Notebook has data points to be marked. Burning enemy damage. Interesting. I should check on some of those a bit more. Let's hope this is the way to the main door so I can let the Quinn in. Certainly hope so. Interesting. Head on up to here, and what do we got? Look at this place. It's pretty fancy for a survival bunker. Very fancy. There, the door. Let's hope I can open it from the inside. Got another message over here. Most of Ted's women repulse me, okay? They're like contestants on a housewife sim preening for the hubby's attention. But Brianna, the hollow singer, she's different. She's always been nice to me. And I love her voice, which has been conspicuously silent since Grigori died. She doesn't speculate or gossip like the others. She knows something. I can tell. And I'm gonna find out what it is. Well, that's definitely concerning. Seems like that's all, but that's the way to bring him in. Well, let's let everyone in. Ah, good. An emergency exit function. Emergency exit finished. That was very well... Very well protected. The door is open. Destiny is upon us. I knew you could do it. What's going on? The CO is preparing to enter Thebes. Uh-huh. Oh, why are you dressed like Ted Pharaoh? I am Pharaoh. Renewed. My essence is the same as his. Across the years, across the generations. His soul is my soul. His will is my will. We are sundered in only one way. I need his final testament, his deepest secrets. And now that the door is open, those secrets are within my grasp. When I have them, I will be complete. As he was. I will have everything I need to save our homeland. And, as Pharaoh did, the world. Okay. I think there's some confusion here. Aloy, Pharaoh, take it was. easy. No one knows better than I who he was. Who he is. Me. The Renewer. Greatest of the ancestors. The man who saved the world. And you. You understand, Sobek. You are her. Pharaoh's harbinger. His assistant. 
Take it easy. Come. We will descend into Thebes together, as it should be. Bring her the raiment. Raiment? As he is Pharaoh, you are Sobek. For an occasion, this momentous, shouldn't you wear proper business attire? Whoa. No, 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 no. No, I am not wearing that. No way. You will wear the proper attire to mark this moment. Or what? It is said Sobek valued life above all else. Is this true? Oh boy. Fine. I'll wear your raiment. Well, okay then. How bad is it? Okay. At least she still has her arrows. Excellent. Shall we proceed? Look at this place. The grandeur. Pharaoh's domain. Simply breathtaking. Excellent. Okay, then. Somewhere in here, Pharaoh left his secrets. Let's go find them. You're magnificent. Perhaps we should leave guards behind to cover our exits? Indeed. And let it be done. Right, so... He's gonna be a bit of a problem, I imagine, especially when we end up needing the Omega clearance. There will be issues soon. I think all this preserved for the ages. As destiny intended for me. Sure. Well, tell you what. I'm going to end this episode here. A much shorter episode, yes, but I have a feeling we're going to be doing a lot once we walk into there. So, that'll be in the next episode. Till then. I am Chester44, also known as Pillai, that is Aloy. This has been a Let's Play of Horizon Forbidden West, and I shall see you all next time.